Sup nerds, I'm Tom. I'm Wes. And I'm Aaron. The third expansion for Villainous is out. So we're going to talk about it. Perfectly Wretched. Remember in our last video for Villainous where I was like, the next expansion definitely needs to be a big box. And they were like, nope. We've already covered the base game and the other two expansions in previous videos. We'll have links to them below so you can kind of get the basic overview of the base game and how it works. And kind of see what the other villains have to offer. In this game, you get Corella DeVille, you get Mother Grothel, and you get Pete. Steamboat Pete. I think it's just Pete. It's I know, but it's like the Steamboat Pete. Pete. Yeah. Like from, from, from Steamboat, Steamboat Willie. Willie. Which is a very, like, if you, it's on Disney Plus, and I went and rewatched it. It's just like a seven-minute cartoon that I'm like, man, really, really old cartoons were weird. <laughs> It is important to know if you haven't bought into the whole villainous experience that this expansion is and like an expand alone. You don't need to buy the base game or any of the other expansions. You can just pick this one up and play it by itself with three people. Three two get, or two, two players. Yeah, get the experience of the game and find out, do I want to buy more of this and have more characters and play bigger games? I will say, though, I don't know if I would recommend this as somebody's first one. No, I wouldn't. Yeah. I mean, Pete is a good one to offer to someone as their first, like if it's their first time playing, because it's kind of it seems like the easiest one. But overall, like these other two characters, like the, they don't really mesh well together and balance well together. I don't think as a first, yeah, as a first time play, I think Pete's is the is the best one to give to somebody as their first time to be like, I feel like you can handle this. This one's complicated. There's five different things you have to do to win, but you pick four. And when really it, it's like, oh, this is this it, is straightforward. The reason why it's straightforward too is you don't have like one big goal with multi steps to get through. It's you have four small goals that you can focus on one at a time. Mm -hmm. And they add some like he's sneaky Pete, so like they're hidden goals and people don't know what they are. And there's only four of them, but there's five available, so you're trying to figure out which ones. But also, like, once you start going for one, it's pretty obvious, like, which one it is. Like, oh, he's doing that there. He's going for this he's goal. He's saving up lots of power. He's going to go for his power move, or he's saving up. He's got a bunch of guys there. He wants yeah. to have uh, 10 strength. Yeah. Yeah. And then as you unlock these goals, they flip up and come off the board, and you try to get the rest of the goals. So it, it is a very, like, straightforward character to play, as well as it's really easy to focus on one little thing, and then you can't backslide. That's probably one of the biggest things yeah. is, like, in the base game, um, the guy who just wants the, the Prince John, he, yeah, just, he just wants, wants like, power. 10 power. Or, or 20, 20 power. power. Yeah, yeah. You can gain and lose it a lot throughout yeah, the game. Yeah, there's cards that, like, kill half your power. Yeah. So, like, that one, like, you're so close, and then you go backwards. This one, like, once you get two done, you're 50% there, at least, and if, you're never going to go... If they know what it is, they can backslide you from being able to complete it but once you complete it it's done yeah. once you're 25% of the way there you're you're done once you're 50% of the way there you're done uh, Mother Gothel on the other hand she has she wants to have 10 trust and there's trust is a lot of cards that will you play will, will get you trust you also have Rapunzel is always out there you always have a hero here who is covering up the top half of your actions luckily two of them you're it's only covering one action so it's not that bad and you do have an extra thing where you have to remember to move her towards uh, this place um, at the end of every at the end Corona, of your turn, which I don't think we can say right now on YouTube. <laughs> or I didn't see it. <laughs> the evil queen from Snow White and the evil comp no the, the purple Pur expansion purple expansion whatever that one was called. She ate gained poison tokens, which is just uh, power tokens that you place over here and they're poison. I thought they really really easily could have put just a second little piece of punch board with some poison tokens in there same exact stupid complaint for trust tokens yeah. totally could have been a thing of 10 trust tokens because that's the max you could have put 11 or 12 in there if you made them smaller and fit them in there for whatever funky reason but uh or, yeah or like a slider like a, a tracker with one little anything, thing that like went anything down. better than just just use the same token and place them here because get we're being up. lazy yeah it's so easy to get mixed up and knocked over and mixed into like, your other oh, wait, pile this is my power it, like uh. with corella they did it right they gave the puppies printed on separate tokens so they we know they have the and, so, they, and him too we know they can do it <laughs> why were these not what what the hell <laughs> so with corella you're trying to capture 99 puppies and you have a bunch of puppies on these tokens, and you can 
you could technically win the game by capturing five tokens because there's four of them that have 22 puppies and then the other five have 11. So you could just get all four of the 22s and then one of the 11. And if you start your turn with those captured, you win. But it's, it's a lot harder than it seems because you have to, first, they're all face down off to the side. You don't know who they are. You're going, it's kind of a three-step process. First, you got to find them. You flip it over and you're like, okay, this one goes to Hell Hall. And then now I need to get one of my henchmen to go over there. And then I got to spend the, um, the activate to have him activate and capture it. And then you guys can easily Fate. undo those kind of things yeah. with the fates that you can, there's some of the, the Dalmatians that will come out here, like the Pongo and what's the other one? I can not think Pongo and Parad, per Rita. I can't pronounce her name. The girl and yeah, the, the dog. The, the mom and the dad dog. <laughs> They're there to protect. And you can, there's ways to capture the puppies from what I've already captured and release them back out to the, to, to my pile. So it's like, it undoes, undoes those two steps. So like, unlike Pete, where once you've done it, it's done. Yeah. Like I could be like, oh yeah, sweet. I captured these puppies. And now you're going to undo three steps that I did. I mean, they, they stay face, face up, up, so I can be like, okay, well, I, that was the 22. I definitely want to go for that those puppies again because they're very valuable. But I still have to now bring them back onto the board, send my henchmen to that location because they always go to a certain location, and then capture them. So I did like playing it as Cruella. Like, she's one of one of the most iconic villains. I feel like you know yeah. the black and white and puppies and money and fur coat. And it's just one of the older Disney movies I remember watching. So I guess yeah. that's what makes it like that. It's one of the most remade Disney movies too. Yeah. They had live action. And... They have a one called Cruella coming out with uh, Emma Stone as Cruella. That's going to be cool. I think this is maybe my second favorite expansion. It might be my third. I mean, these are all pretty good. Um, I probably still think the blue box or purple box is the best just because it has Hades is really straightforward. Um, and I liked Dr. Fassler, and I can't remember. Oh, that did. I liked, I liked the orange box best. Ooh. Did you like this box best so we can all <laughs> disagree? Just all disagree. Yeah. I think that this box added some really great characters, but I think that this is the one that is the most expansion. I don't, I, I agree that Aaron, I don't like playing these characters against each other, maybe, but Especially like. It's a three player game. Yeah. Like maybe yeah. if you had more players and there's like Cruella mm, versus like Ursula. I don't really recommend more players. I think I think you should cat villainous at four. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But but playing like Cruella with some of the more complicated characters and playing mm -hmm. Pete against some of the simpler characters, like that might be a better user experience. I do yeah. think Pete Pete does sound like he's a complicated character, but he really isn't. Yeah. I do like like the hidden, like it it was less of an actual thing once we started playing the game, but the like you don't know what goals I have, and you don't know where they are. I feel like I'm, getting, I'm sneaking around, I'm hiding stuff, and it was pretty easy to figure well, out. we could reveal them. There was a couple cards that revealed them and stuff. He also has cards that add more, like, actions, actions down there. So that even though you're... Because one of my things is having more power... More, on, more uh, allies. More than ally power than hero power. Just, just allies, not the... It was the number of cards, I think. Yeah, but either way, either way. It, it having more, so that incentivized you to put a bunch of uh, uh, heroes up here. Mm -hmm. And so having a bunch of these covered up, but having more underneath, like that was a really cool addition to the game. So probably your sec the second expansion you should buy. We disagree on whether you should buy the purple or the orange box first for expansions, or even for just if you don't have the base game and you want to, like, like he said... Dabble just in it. Dabble and just play it with three players, which we rec kind of recommend anyways. Again, cap it at four, five. It goes up to what? A gajillion? Don't do six, that. Six is like what they say is the max, is the I max? think. But you could play with now, what, there's six plus nine. It's 15. It's almost could, 16 Could people. you do that? Is there any, it could take so long. Is there any up. element to the game that caught, makes that not possible? Number of power tokens, maybe? Probably But there's not. more power tokens so, than every yeah, Probably not. Yeah. Yeah. It would yeah. just take forever. And yeah, your enjoyment. Your enjoyment stops that from happening. <laughs> You'd have to have all of these in play. You'd be like, okay, there's three of you have already been attacked. Like, I don't know. It, it It's not it's balanced not. to do that. Don't, don't even try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a link in the description box down below where you can get yourself a copy of this new expansion, all the other expansions, and the base game. As well as links to all of our previous villainous videos for your 
viewing enjoyment vi- vivaciousness <laughs> v for vendetta either way subscribe to our channel so you'll never be bored